John and Lauren, nearly six months ago, if you were arrested in Jackson County, you would find yourself here. However, now inmates are bounced around between facilities. City and county leaders say that's got to change. We all see this as an absolute must. It's an absolute priority, a law enforcement priority. City and county leaders say it's a priority with no immediate solution. Tuesday at the Kansas City Police Board of Commissioners meeting, the urgency was there. We are concerned about how much longer this can uh, be sustained and then where is the police department um, and what position are we in and how are we going to move forward if things change. In June of this year, the city's contract with the county to house inmates expired, leaving many to be shipped out of the area to places like Vernon County, some being housed at the Heartland Center for Behavioral Change, a mental health facility not meant to be a jail. We have some tentative plans in mind if things happen. As you know, right now we have uh, patrol division satellites open for detention, um, Shoal Creek, East Patrol, South Patrol. Um, we have Center Zone open for juvenile arrests and we are staffing to get ready to open Metro if the case is needed. One person who believes he may be able to help, former city manager Troy Schulte. My idea, you build one facility big enough to handle the region. Schulte met with the Jackson County Legislature on Monday about their open administrator position. He believes Jackson County may be able to resolve the issue in time. I think there's some regional interest in pursuing this, nothing to the point that they would want to commit, but ultimately that would be brought back to the legislature saying, is this something you guys want to pursue? I think from certainly the conversations I've had across the street, there's a willingness to, and, a, and an interest and an eagerness to do something regional. The City Council will be discussing the need for a solution on Thursday in their regular business session. Sheree Honeycutt, Fox 4 News.